Before we play Operation, I want to take a peek at this uh, this new show I'm I, I'm into big time. Yeah, Beauty and the Geek. Anyone watching this? Haven't seen it. Holy crap! You get these uh, these tens, these women. And uh, you get these just uber geeks that have barely kissed women. Uh, one guy holds the record for like um, uh, solving the Rubik's cube the fastest. Hey, well, there's a he does prize. it in 12 seconds. He can do it behind his back, blindfolded, all this crap. And these guys are all like rocket scientists. And how does he do it? And they're blindfolded. Uh, well, there's a pattern to that. Yeah, but how do you know when you just gotta know when to stop? Oh. Christ. So he looks at it and he knows how many times he he has to do the pattern and then that's all that's all it comes down to. So it's wow. it's studying the Rubik's cube and knowing all right I could do the pattern for you know ten turns here and it's gonna work and then he does it behind his back. How fast? Pretty fast. Well, the world record that he holds it's like twelve seconds or something. That's he solves the Rubik's cube. I was never able to solve one of those. I can't I do two sides. Two room. sides. Like, yeah, ah. you get like all right, I got it, two sides. <laughs> right. Stupid and thing. Amazing. And then you got uh, then you got like a guy who's a Dungeon and Dragons guy. He's a dungeon master and. Another guy that's studying like uh, well, he's the master. Well, wow. he's a dungeon master. Wow, and, and all these guys are from like MIT, and they they're they're just ridiculously smart. Yeah, but their social skills stink, and that's why you got the hot women. So they learn pop culture and and how to dress and stuff from the women, and how to be more of a man. And then these guys try to give uh, these dumb bimbos some intelligence. Mm. It's a great show. They live in a mansion and then they do these things. Of course. At the end of the show, they, uh, you know, they they couple up. First of all, I guess I should explain the concept a little better. The geeks, one by one, go outside to the pool, and all these girls are just lounging around in tiny, tiny little bathing suits. And the geeks have to introduce themselves, and then the girls decide after the geek leaves who wants to be paired up with that geek. Ooh. And is there like the last person picked geek? <laughs> well, <laughs> like in uh, they avoid gym that class? because it's one but one at a time, so uh, you never you don't. I guess you, technically you would know, but you don't get to see all of them at, 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 right. at once. They should do that line and of one them. Just guy, really degrade him. There's one guy. Maybe we could get the clip if Danny's listening of this guy that looks like Woody Allen that has anxiety attacks when he sees women. Absolutely oh, loses wow. his fucking mind and goes outside. He sees these these tans and bathing suits and he can't <laughs> even talk. Hot chicks yeah. and bathing suits. Because he's, he's, he's just a geek. That's all he knows in his life. He doesn't get a wow. chance to even socialize with uh, a girl above Very a two. Very nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, this your boy. Attractive right. girls. So then they. That's the dude from Family Guy, right? Was that Family Guy? Oh, he looks he's a lot like now. that. now. Yeah. Yeah. And he, and then there was another guy that has kind of a Napoleon Dynamite, uh, you know, feel to him. So then the girls decide, well, I want that gig, I want that gig, and then they get a room in this mansion. What? And now they get to live together in this room as they're doing these, uh, you know, these uh, <laughs> challenges and tasks and stuff. Wait, do they sleep in the same room? They sleep in the same room, wow. not the same bed. Some have only one bed, but the girls are already skeeved out, so they're they're putting up partitions and stuff. <laughs> but the Woody Allen anxiety guy that actually takes medication because he freaks out when he sees hot chicks. He was in a room with one of these uh, girls. He he goes, I cannot sleep in the same room with someone as beautiful as this girl. So he took his stuff and he slept in the closet. <laughs> That's slept probably a good place for closet. him. Peeping he, some. No, he, he, not gay at all. Not the gay. guy just cannot handle being in front of beautiful women. He doesn't know how to act. What did the girl do? Was she was she laughing about it? Was she cool about it? Or what? Yeah, most of the women are cool, but you could tell they're like, oh god, I gotta make believe I care about this geek for like you five or six weeks. Yeah. Well, why not just take the situation you're in and be weird rape guy? <laughs> just like go from the geek. Because you're weird, anyway. The girls are looking at you like you're fucking... You're weird. Right. This is Be weird rape guy, where now you're just grabbing women and shoving your dick in them. Yeah. There you go. It's a, no, it's a whole new show there. I right? showed you. <laughs> and, then the, and then some of these geeks are, uh, like, delusional, because uh, they did... You know, the girls want to hang out at the hot tub with their tiny little bathing suits and stuff in between challenges and tasks. And this one guy did not want to hang out at the hot tub because he th thinks he has a great body because he works out. And they show oh, him, no. like, flexing in front of a mirror. Oh, no. <laughs> and he's far from having any type of body, but he's so delusional. He's like, look, if I got, you know, if I took my shirt off around the girls, you know, they're going to... The other guys are going to want me kicked out of the house because I'm obviously better looking than the rest of them. It's a yeah. great, it's a great show. I'm, I'm enjoying the shit it out. out. It's called Beauty and the Geeks on uh, Thursday nights on uh, the WB, I guess. So we got some quick clips here just to go over of uh, Beauty and the Geek. All right. <laughs> the ladies get their tasks. Listen to this. Ladies, 
You, however, are going to make a speech. You may be comfortable using your looks to win people over, but can you use your knowledge of current issues like the environment and politics and the economy? We're going to find out. I'm a senior in college right now, and I'm in an international marketing class. Marketing might have something to do with politics, maybe not, I don't know. I don't really like politics. I don't like knowing what people's views are, because really, I, I don't really care. Whatever works for me, I guess, is best. <laughs> And these girls are like, uh, you know, models. And, and yeah. one girl, all she is is a cocktail slash shot girl. That's her profession. Oh, shot girl. Okay. Yeah. So they're just as dumb as dumb can be. So they have these tasks. This one, obviously, is to show their intelligence, which they don't have. And then they had the guys do, like, uh, singing karaoke, something that they are just not comfortable with. Yeah, they're doing very introverted. Because they, so they just don't go out. Yeah. So the task here was uh, to... Um, to um, discuss these these hot topics in front of an audience too so now the next clip is uh one of the girls discussing the ozone layer that was her topic discuss the ozone layer oh boy and then the audience decides which bimbo did the best job they win and then they don't get kicked out of the house her and her geek don't get kicked uh, out of the house right here we go the ozone layer uh yeah so ozone layer is key because that's what keeps the sun rays out if the sun rays get in, they call it the greenhouse effect. Have you heard that before? It keeps the sun rays out, but the sun still gets to us, but it keeps the harmful things out. Yeah, that is like a protective layer in the, in the air. Or else we'd melt. So here's, <laughs> or else melt. we'd melt. God bless you. God bless you. See, this, I forgot. This is, <laughs> oh. this, this is them practicing, because obviously the geeks have all the knowledge, and they're like, cool. oh, yeah. they're, they're practicing with their women. This is what you need to say. You need to understand this is what the ozone layer is about. Yeah. But they can't grasp anything. Or you'll melt. <laughs> Here's melt. one geek helping his beauty about uh, Social Security, because this might be one of the topics. Okay, Social Security. <gasps> oh, we just talked about this in class the other day. Social Security, isn't that what you get when you're older? For some reason, I don't know why, but they're afraid it's going to run out. Like, because, okay, 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 okay. I think my partner is probably not going to do very well with her speech. No, I know something. Normally, at first, I was like, what is that? I thought maybe she had a few blonde moments, but apparently her life is just one long blonde moment. <laughs> this girl and the geeks good. get so fucking frustrated. Because these girls are so stupid. Oh, 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 oh! I know. <laughs> and the, when and you get old, right? Yeah, great. And the hot pieces of asses get frustrated because these guys are just messing. Yeah. <laughs> so but that's the hilarious thing that <coughs> their vaginas equal these motherfuckers' brains. Like, yeah, right, right. yeah. It's an equal power. Right. Yeah. But but it's like the same end of the magnet. Like when you try to put them together, the north and the north, they just push apart of equal strength, but. There's no connection there. Yeah. Does pussy really trump genius? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. It does. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, guess so. Uh, I mean, that can be so thick sometimes. It's great. A good piece of ass will get anything she wants. As good as. Yeah. And then a, a genius guy. Well, if you get a smart bit of ass, it's really nice. What are you going to get? <sighs> What's the guy going to get, though? <laughs> for being a genius. So that was them practicing, and now it's time for the debate. Now they got to see which girl is the best at, uh, you know, s soaking in this knowledge and screwing it right. to an audience. So the first girl here is discussing taxes in front of a live audience. We're the only country that didn't sign this thing called the Kyoto Protocol. Like the Kyoto oh. Dragon. I'm sorry. Oh my <laughs> gosh, she didn't say like the Kyoto Dragon. <laughs> yeah, well, let's, yeah, this is one more clip of them practicing. I'm sorry. Listen to this. We're the only country that didn't sign this thing called the Kyoto Protocol. Like the Kyoto Dragon. Cheryl seems very stubborn to take my advice when it comes to studying. I think I'm going to take a power nap. You're going to take a power nap? You're going to take a power nap? Yeah, this reading is making me tired. But we've, it's been like five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> that five minutes was more than she's ever had as far as her brain work. And she, not and she the, needed a nap. The concept that's what of Bill the Gates show. Says. Yeah. yeah. I, I got to take a power map, but that, he's inventing the world and shit. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. The concept for the show is just brilliant. The because Kyoto these guys, Dragon, uh, these guys are her. taking it so seriously because, you know, their their intelligence is on the line, you know? Yeah. What, what, did I, what did I win? I mean, what does it get? 250000 the last couple in the house. Couple, okay, gotcha. So, uh, finally, here's the, the girls debating after they had their geeks, All you know, right. prep them. The first girl discusses taxes. Your question is... 
Do you support lower or higher taxes and why? Um, I be- actually, I believe, I'm, I'm, my view would be for the, the Democratic view in this situation. Um, I feel that people who are more wealthier um, should have definitely have higher taxes. Um, let me collect my thoughts. I'm sorry. Uh, a little change. Purse. I know I'm trying to look smart right now in my suit, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> the whole problem with Danielle's uh, speech thing was that we did a lot of practicing for the karaoke competition. Maybe a little too much. I felt really good about coming here in this like really cute outfit with my pink shoes and my pink top, but it's really not giving me much brain power. <laughs> um, I feel that. <laughs> that my suit is cute and that I'm wearing hoops like J-Lo. <laughs> she could not she had nothing. taxes at all. She had all. nothing. She had no opinion on taxes. Back to side brand on shoes and handbags. Except what she heard. Well, that's the Tax best part. the rich. That's the best part, too, because they dress them up to make them look more intelligent, oh, too. Man, man. When all they want to do is wear the tiny... Oh, know. what do they put them in those Hillary Clinton suits? Pretty much, pretty much. Now, do you think women... There's a woman out there, a beautiful woman who gets anxiety attacks when she's around like smart people. She's just like, uh, <laughs> there's geeks. <gasps> she sounded like she was getting one, but they have to be proven to be like that. Like you have to, like she, there's never a, a point in time where just in regular society where you go, you know, you're beautiful, but you are a fucking idiot. And she's yeah. just like, oh my god. It's just like it takes this kind of thing. If, for her she's to just... at a, if she's at a cocktail party with intelligent people, not one of them is going to walk up to her and go, how do you feel about taxes? That's why she's not getting an anxiety attack in front of uh, like uh, uh, wealthy, educated people that are in a room because they never would approach her with something like that. Right, right, right. Yeah. But they put her in the situation in the show, and she loses her mind. Right. All right. And She'll now... Collect her thoughts in a thimble. Now, uh, <laughs> here's the first girl that picked pollution as the topic. You have to pick a number, and then uh, the, the host mm. tells you what you have to talk pollution, about. Pollution, bad. What are you going to say about it? Dirt. Well, they, they bring it to a whole new life. <laughs> oh, what do you this. think about pollution? Dirt. <laughs> okay. Just keywords. Like she's giving clues for the $25,000 pyramid. Dirt, <laughs> air, <laughs> smokestacks, <laughs> things that pollute. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Jennifer, what would you do to prevent pollution? When I heard the question, I was like, ooh, this is, this is great. That was the one she took the most notes on. That was the one she sort of, like, hammered in. Well, let me start off by saying that there are three types of pollution. There's air pollution, water pollution, and land pollution. For the speech, I just knew that I wasn't going to remember all the information that I learned. The way that I can prevent air pollution is maybe... Um, not eating a lot of gaseous foods when we farting a lot, that's a form of air pollution. I just had to start picking up stuff in my head and just, I don't know, making up stuff. Oh my God. I don't know what I was doing up there, I was just talking. Everybody just do your part, reuse, reduce, recycle, whatever with the slogan is or whatever. <laughs> Use, reduce, recycle. Is that an airhead niggly? <laughs> yeah, it sounded is like that. Uh, black girl? Yeah. <laughs> oh no! See, wow. Know, so, Fuck. So, this equal opportunity shit is supposed to be dumb blonde, not a dumb oh, black girl. So here we farting go. is really the problem we got with the air Eat pollution. Gassy food. Then uh, here's the second girl that came up and also picked pollution to talk oh, about. Okay. Tristan, your question is, what would you do to prevent pollution? Uh, crap. I can't tell you the exact numbers. If we keep acting and doing things the way we're gonna, we're doing them, it's gonna be bad. Turn off your refrigerators tomorrow and let's revert back to the olden days. Let us go out into the woods. Start picking berries. As soon as I knew I kind of had the audience with laughing, I, there was no turning back. It's just like, all right, I'm going to go with this. For a reason, our ice caps are melting. The audience seemed to love it. The audience was laughing. I didn't know what they were judging on. I had no idea. Stupidity. Ice. Your stupidity. <laughs> You're the reason ice is melting. You know what? The ice melting is always fucked up. It's always been a pollutant. Yeah. yeah. Melting ice Melting is always ice. a pollutant. They, they show the geeks in the audience, and they're just dumbfounded. They get so pissed off. When you pee in a toilet, really, think about it. Where does it go? It's water pollution in your toilet. Because it was clear water, and then when I stand up, it's yellow, and that's polluted. When you take a, when you take a shower... Now, I took a shower yesterday. <laughs> so How did I get dirt on me again? <laughs> See, that's pollution. 
All right. Uh, next good. girl. We're almost done here. I've had to talk about global warming. Uh-oh. What would you do to alleviate global warming? Just because I have immunity doesn't mean that I'm safe. And I still need to put 101% out there. Okay. Global warming. Do you know what? Our Earth is a, a delicate Earth. I think... I think everybody here is connected, you know? Everybody is related somehow, so your children are my children. I'm finished. Holy shit. I'm telling you, these that, are so stupid. No, no, that was by far the dumbest answer out of, out of all of them so far. Global warming. We're all connected. Your children are my children. <laughs> That's what she said. See, my children are warm. Why? And the beauty of this show, you know, these girls, you know, obviously it's not smart to play dumb because they yeah. want to win the money in the end. They already get on, they already got on the show for being dumb, so now they're trying to show how smart they actually are. So <laughs> they really wanted to. Yeah, they sound really want to uh, sound smart, so they win this uh, this task or challenge, so they don't get kicked out yeah. of the house. Because they want to win the money eventually. She didn't even try. So, who, who picks them off the show after that? I mean, the, is it the audience, is it? Or the, uh, yeah, now the audience uh, like vote. has to decide which uh, girl did the best. Finally, the last girl talked about uh, pollution as well. What would you do to prevent pollution? Everything is recycled. My shoes that I'm wearing right now are actually made out of recycled cow skin. Sarah has a lot of strong points. She's very good at being cute. <laughs> when you have kids, you're constantly changing diapers. And, um, don't throw them in the backyard because that's land pollution. You know, people aren't going to take her seriously because she is attractive. So I was a little concerned. If everyone could just take a small step into pollution, it, it, would, it would make our world a much better world. <laughs> A small step into pollution. Into pollution. Let's step into some pollution here. So that was the girl, uh, the girl challenge. Unbelievable. Your womb is so polluted. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even have a little baby. So just how the show works. So then one girl won. So then her and her geek are safe, and they get to pick a couple that is on the chopping block for, ah. the, for the final challenge. Okay. And then there's a guy challenge, and the guy challenge was singing karaoke, you know, a social type thing. Yeah. And then the guy that did the best uh, karaoke, he was safe, and him and his beauty will not get voted out of the house, but they get to pick another couple to go to the ultimate challenge at the end, which is like trivia, okay? Uh -huh. And last night's show, we're just focusing on the women because they were the dummies uh, this week, yeah. certainly. Um, the women had to talk about, uh, had questions on politics, and the guys had questions about popular music. Okay. Okay. So we just got some highlights. All right. And I'm watching this with um, with Lindsay, and man, you know, <laughs> she's one of these girls. Love her, but she asked me questions. I, there's no good answer. There's no. no good. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this. We're watching, you know, the the beauty and the geek at the end. The, t the two couples going at it, and it's the two beauties doing uh, questions about politics. And she go casually goes, "So who do you want to win?" You know, we've been we invested an hour in this show. So I guess that would be a normal question, right? I'm like, so she asked me, who, who do you want to win? So I pick uh, the one girl. She goes, why is that? Oh, <laughs> you can't win that one. And, uh, you can't win, right? And if you don't answer, then then the, then the thing is, then the thing is, well, why won't you answer the question? And what does you like about her? You don't like about me, <laughs> right? <laughs> Where's that one girl uh. <laughs> So I got killed last night because I obviously picked the the hotter girl. Yeah, That's yeah. the only reason. I don't know her from a hole in the wall. I'm just watching this dumb show. So if it comes down to it, you're obviously going to pick the one that's hotter. Of course you are. Is right. my ass fat while we watch this show? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? You don't fancy me. You like her. We're watching a show again. Now. Uh, what? Proving that uh, my chick is very, very smart. Let me ask you this to the girls. So I answer, the and then I get killed. I'm like, da. No, she the, I she just, the hottest one as well? The, the one that you picked. <laughs> she, she, she was one of the hotter ones. Sure. Did the girls on the show, did I argue with each other as well? Did I hate each other? Did I slag each other off? No, they're uh, they're supportive of each oh, other. Oh, they're all girls yeah, in arms. Yeah, but it's uh, probably all bullshit. It's even worse. So I got myself into a position last night because yeah. I, yeah. I answered one of those impossible questions. There's you no can only wish right that answer. You get voted off the show, and then you'd be safe. There's no right answer. We'll have to do a whole show on uh, <laughs> our women asking the questions that there's no answer <sighs> to. Yeah. That's when you need the <laughs> eject seat in your couch. It's you pull the handle between your legs, <laughs> a segment of your roof comes off, and the chair goes... <laughs> 
parachute lands you safely miles from your home. That's, w- that's where I wish I could get explosive diarrhea on, on <laughs> <laughs> where I could just call call on explosive diarrhea. Oh, Love to answer oh. that, but I have to hit the bathroom. Oh. So you wish you could have like a, b- a big, big eye and just have time to answer. <laughs> <laughs> And I wasn't even thinking. I'm like, oh, it's a good question. We've been yeah. watching the show for an hour, so I, I go her, Amanda. I think it was. Why? Ah, <laughs> uh, why? Well, because uh, uh, I think she's smarter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, so the, the finally, it's the two women talking about politics. We got a couple highlights here. Listen to these answers. What is the address of the White House? I just told Amanda this answer. I just told Amanda this. What? I just told 1600 Pennsylvania? 1600 Pennsylvania! <laughs> One White House Road, Come on. Washington, D.C., oh. United States of America. Oh, that was a good try. That's a good guess. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> One White House One House, White House <laughs> Road <laughs> makes perfect sense. Where's Osama Bin Laden live? Um, 36 <laughs> Blow Your Ass Up Boulevard? <laughs> Next to the big mansion on the left hand side? Oh my God. And, and you hear the guys yelling, they're in a soundproof room yelling the answers, you really? know, hoping that they. One uh, White House Road. And remember, they want to be smart because they want to stay in the house and win the money. So the, the, this is them trying. You know, it. Where's it John isn't. Wayne live? Gun Street? Huh? <laughs> what, bitch? Yeah, it isn't one White House Road, but it should be. It should be. That's <laughs> the, why, why isn't it? Stuff that should be. Why is it fucking 1600 just, Pennsylvania where, Avenue? Where are whales from? Atlanta? What? <laughs> from Whale Land. Whale. Whales. Uh, Wh- from Wales. Whales. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Tough is that there. Let's go to Chad in Buffalo. Chad. Yo, what's up, guys? I was watching that show last night, too. My girl asked the same question. Yeah. As soon as I said the girl I wanted to win, I was like, shit. That's... She sat up, gave me that look, and I'm like, yep. And you wanted Amanda, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it wasn't even yeah. close as far as the hotness factor. Yeah, well, I didn't... I didn't like the other guy, but, you know, that girl was hotter, so I was like, yeah, I'll go with Amanda, and she's just like, what? And I was like, shit. Yeah. Here we go. You yeah, sometimes you get blindsided. You're not even thinking. You're like, yeah, I'll answer this question. It's yeah. no big deal. It is a big deal. Fuck! The only thing you can do is pick the girl nearest to what your girl looks like, just to remotely <laughs> get out of it. You know, she got blonde hair like you, baby. <laughs> Mad in Boston. I can't believe you guys didn't figure this out. The right answer is... Honey, I don't care who wins. I like watching these stupid cunts get eliminated. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I'm not rooting for anybody. That's right. I just think it's fun to see how stupid they are. All right, here's uh, the next question. What American historical figure has his face on a $10 bill? All right. Thomas Jefferson. Holy cow. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the easiest question in the world, though. That's Alexander not one of those. Hamilton. But, that, I, but that's one of those. I think it's an obscure know, one. It's not like Lincoln very, or Washington. Yeah, I, mean, I think half of us would have got that wrong in this room. Yeah. I, I, I should have stopped the tape. I, I, you, you, yeah, I'm, I'm with all of them. I'm going to tell you something. Well, you. Come yeah. on. Every bill's got know. that fucking queen on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's easy to money. What? Okay, what? Okay, who else is on the pound note? Yeah, yeah, um, The guy who invented the trolley? Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is why <laughs> I hate these trolley. stupid countries. This is co- I'm we have good, a theme. Uh, Dead president uh, and the White House on the back. Yeah. Their, yeah. their theme is the Thanks. queen and well, some obscure yeah, asshole. We've oh, got yeah. the queen on the front and on the back is a lorry. <laughs> Dude, we have uh, famous inventors and things like that. You know? yeah, famous exactly. inventors. The Lawrence queen Nazi and Sir, Sir Jonathan Scoogleberry, uh, who invented the tube. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. invented drinking back in 19... 19- yeah, exactly. Winston Churchill. And <laughs> he should be on there, actually. He's not on there, I don't think. He's no? Should, he should be on there. Yeah, let's go to Paul in New Jersey. Paul. Hey, oh, are you so pussy-whipped that you can't tell your girl that you think the chick on TV's hot? Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Thank you, sir. Absolutely, I'm not going like down that guy. road. I, it's fuck just, that. I like this guy, man. Don't fuck that to the guy. I'm That's what I've been trying to say. I'm not going down that fucking road. I say, uh, off the air, on the air, stop this shit. No, why? Would he, how, who would you vote for? Well, I would vote for that girl. Why? Well, because I would love to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> Trace is a swinger. It's okay. You can do that. I would love Don't to you want to fuck her too, sweetie? That's why you get with a bisexual 
sexual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's call her over right now. <laughs> that, is, that is a fantasy world that most guys don't get to live in. No, why? No, why, Paul? Because I don't want to know who she thinks is hot. See, that's our problem. I don't want to fucking, fucking know. Man, we we gotta get I over don't that know. shit, Opie. She. It doesn't matter who she. She I can don't get him. Want to know? It's a mind thing. Just say, "Hey, because I want to fuck." Well, what if I wanted to fuck the geek? Knock yourself out. I hope he has a big dick. <laughs> I hope he fucks your. I hope he fucks your bladder loose, baby. Go get him, tiger. <laughs> Women don't re when they when we don't care they don't function well. That's just don't care. Let her fuck a geek. Tell her I want to fuck this hot chick. Well, I want to fuck uh the guy who plays Shaggy in the Scooby Doo movies. Well, well, well. Make him wear this fucking Shaggy fucking wig and fuck the shit out of him, punk it. Call me Please. crazy for not Pumpkin. wanting to play that game. I just don't want to play that fucking oh, game. You in love. Thank fuck you, Paul. That. These fuck that. Fucking guys, man. Fuck that. All right, here we go. Here's the last question from last night's Beauty and the Geek. What is the capital of Iraq? Ooh. Not going to get that one. Could you spell Iraq, please? <laughs> what? There you go. Get it spelled. Take some time there. I-R-A-Q. You shouldn't say Iraq town. I'm going to go with Afghanistan. Uh, oh, my that God. That is incorrect. <laughs> that, there should be a test. There should be a test that allows you to be a, a, an American citizen. And I don't mean the one they give you. Who are we at war with? Because it doesn't matter. It? They study for that shit. It's like, yeah. Can you, spell, can you say that in a sentence, please? Uh, yeah. We're at war spell with them. Iraq. Afghanistan is the capital of... Spell Iraq. Spell Iraq. I R A C K E with a hyphen over it. What? Yeah, French um, hyphen. Well, guys are always looking at my rack, and that kind of rhymes with Iraq. So I got to say nipple. Yeah. <laughs> dumb Spell black. B L A Q. What? Close Spell enough, black. you piece of ass. <laughs> All right, John in Michigan. What's up, John? Hey, uh, my wife asked me, oh, fuck, I suck. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm punched out. See you. He, all right, he punched out. His plane is in flames, but he is slowly <laughs> coming down to earth. He well, didn't his, crash. His wife asked him the unanswerable question, that's all. Yeah. Uh, that's all. the point I was bringing up. No matter what relationship you're that in, happens, man. You can, there's those questions that are asked. There's no right answer. That's the all I'm saying. The unanswerable question. I fucking just, uh, never mind. Not for Patrice. Never mind. Patrice. Just never mind. Let me tell you. People gonna think that I'm fucking some bullshit, nope. motherfucker. No, you're just. This is a credit to you, my friend. You are no. a rare breed. I've got to. Yeah, I've got to say. You are a rare breed of guy. He's a pimp, man. He's that pimp. is like the way you treat women. The fact that they don't run for a court to get a restraining order or some shit. It astounds me. No, he's not that That bad. they don't spend a day with you and just go, fuck, fuck, this shit. <laughs> like, they just stay. So you got some kind of magic. And, and and philosophy that conference. works. Right. Right. It works for you and the women you're with, and it's he, amazing to Opie me. Opie has to understand when they ask that question. <laughs> it's not just you, Opie. You, you, you anybody, Opie. I'm, I'm putting sure. up the same Opie no just for, for purposes, but it's... I'm it, not alone in this one. I okay. know that. Yeah. Okay, the Opies of the world. I don't know. But see, guys don't ask the unanswerable questions to their women. Thank you. It, wait, it's that's a, the point. Wait, Opie, it's, that's the it's, fucking it's a, point. It's a female thing. They ask us the unanswerable questions. But they definitely... That's the thing. We enable it because they ask and they know that they fucking Patrice do Patrice answers. That's what... So if they, she goes, she's asked, she's asked, she, okay, always think, even no matter what tone she has, always put this tone in your head. So, who would you vote for? Even if she goes, so honey, booby scooby, honey squirts, who, who, do you, who, do you, who do you vote for? Always in your head go... Who, well, who the fuck you like? <laughs> Which bitch you want to fuck? That one right there, ho. I like the <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking well, shit out that girl right there. Any other questions? Just ask. All right. <laughs> yeah, sit back and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, you got to stand. That's I, the trick. Well, there's more, there's more old pieces test. than our Patrice That's in this right. world. I, there are more old pieces. I like where I'm at right now. Oliver St. Louis. <laughs> wow. I'm oh, fine with man? where I'm at. Oliver. Hey, man, don't you guys love Beauty and the Geek every day when you go home after work? <laughs> oh, that's a piece of All right, all right. 